Sex Tape is a 2014 comedy film, and I just got back from a screening for it. It stars Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel. They're a married couple who we see at the beginning of the movie. When they first started dating, these two were just, they couldn't do anything else but have sex. They had sex everywhere. They, that's all they did was have sex. Until one day, Cameron Diaz, what do you know? She gets pregnant by accident. And that's where they go, shit. All right, so I guess this is going to be real. But after having a kid and then having yet another kid, their sex life has vastly diminished and it's barely non-existent. So Cameron Diaz, more so, decides, hey, let's spice things up. Let's record ourselves having sex because it'll be fun, right? Well, once they do so, Jason Siegel, who... All right, I admit, I'm not familiar with Apple products. I don't use tablets or Apple computers, so I have no idea how this works. So I'll just take the movie's word for it. He records themselves on a tablet, but it automatically syncs to his computer, the video. And then when he decides to give all of his friends and family extra tablets, Somehow, these videos ended up on their tablets as well. It got synced onto their tablets. So now all their friends and family have their sex tape. And by the time Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel realize that, figure that out, they spend the rest of the movie trying desperately to get those tablets back. Now, what I thought of sex tape was, you know, I actually liked this movie. I did. And I might sound surprised by it because I can tell that a lot of people, more so than not anyways, won't like this film. I mean, I read some reviews before I saw it, and a lot of critics were just bashing this movie hard, saying that it's, it's crass, it's raunchy for no reason, that it's desperate with some of the jokes, it's over the top. And look, even though I like the movie, I can't really disagree with a lot of what they said. Yeah, there are jokes that you could tell they just said, fuck it, let's go all out. I mean, hell, there's a moment where when Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel are trying to get this one particular tablet back, they go into Rob Lowe's house. And not only is Jason Segel looking for the tablet and then he gets attacked by the dog and he has maybe a 10, 15 minute scene of being chased by the dog. But you have Cameron Diaz willing to do coke in order to distract Rob Lowe while Jason Segel is doing this. And that sequence specifically, I was just like, wow, this is so out there and crazy. But still, it made me laugh. And I should mention Cameron Diaz though. I want to talk about Cameron Diaz a little bit because I need to give her props. Hell, she still got it. She's hot. I know she's older now, and I know maybe not everybody still finds her attractive, but I do. And not only do I find her attractive, I love the fact that she is willing at this point in her career to do raunchy movies like this and participate in all of this sex acts. It's something I never would have pictured Cameron Diaz doing some 10, 15 years ago. And her being willing to get naked in this movie really surprised me. And still, how good she looked naked, I was like, bravo, Cameron Diaz, bravo. But that brings me to Jason Segel, who, all right, I will admit, the guy's lost a lot of weight. He's in good shape. But I don't really want to see Jason Segel naked. Even though... We've already seen that in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I guess. But still, the idea of having to watch him in order to watch Cameron Diaz in a sex tape is not really all that appealing. But luckily, though, like I said, there's a lot of comedy even worked in with them doing that. And the craziness that they have to do, the over-the-topness that they're willing to do in order to get these tablets back, in order to get the video back, I found funny. And I was with it. Like whenever they 
openly made fun of marriage or having kids and how they even called their kids dicks sometimes because at least this movie makes it seem like having kids sucks. So honestly guys, Sex Tape, is it the funniest comedy I've seen all year? No. I'd say right now that's neck and neck between 22 Jump Street and Neighbors. Those movies were hilarious. But I still think this movie is a good contender as far as comedy goes. Again, not everyone's going to like it. Some people are going to think it's too raunchy. If you don't like raunchy comedies, this definitely isn't the movie for you. But I did enjoy seeing Jason Segel and Cameron Diaz as a couple. They surprisingly had really good chemistry together. My rating for this movie, you know, I'm realizing that a lot of movies that I'm reviewing this year are getting the same rating. But I can't help it. This feels like a matinee movie. Maybe to some people, and maybe for most people, I should say rental. Because they'll find this funnier at home if they redboxed it, rented it, Netflixed it, whatever. But I, myself, enjoyed it enough to where I wouldn't mind paying at a matinee price to see this film. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing Sex Tape. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!